Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is not your typical vinyasa flow class, uh, rather it's a combination of cardio, interval training and movement sequences to help build heat and also endurance and strength. It's a little bit different, it's definitely sweaty and uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for joining, namaste. So we're going to begin our practice with four rounds of squat variations to warm up the legs and build a little bit of heat and to maintain your integrity in your posture and support your low back and your knees. Just remember to weight load through your heels as you push up. Try and keep your chest bright and open, your abdominals braced and your buttocks back as if you're trying to sit on a chair behind you. So we're going to start pretty simple and slow and we're going to take our feet out a little wider than your hips and turn your toes out and then round one we're going to put your hands into a comfortable fist at your chest as you bend both your knees your butt moves back chest stays open and then you release your hands by your side as you stand up. So just start nice and slow and get the feeling that you're pushing down through your heels as you rise up and keeping your abs engaged. And we've got about 30 more seconds here on this first round. Squeezing your buttocks as you come back up and coordinating your movement with your breath. And keeping your collarbones smiling or open and breathing deeply, more of a rapid fire breath as you breathe out. And moving to our next round of squat variations. We're gonna kick our heel toward the opposite buttocks as you come up. So same movement, just transferring your weight from foot to foot. And we've got about another 20 seconds. Just stay with your breath, keep moving and keeping that integrity in your form. So you're not ducktailing through your low back spine. The next squat variation is a rotation and opening for your shoulders and offering a mild twist through the spine. So this time as you straighten, come up onto your right toes, take your left arm straight back, right hand to your left shoulder, and then re-squat. And just alternating side to side, coming back to centre as you bend the knees. And we've got another 20 seconds here. Keep breathing, stay with it. Keep driving down through your heels and that'll keep the uh, pressure out of your knees and your ankles. And coming up to our last round here, some crab squats. Slowing it down now. And coming back to centre, turn toward the long edge of your mat now. Bring your toes together. Soft fist at your chest and bend the knees here. So we're going to stay quite low, firm the belly in and bend your knees, stay low, step to the middle of your mat and then the end of your mat and when you arrive here take a light hop or simply come up onto your toes, straighten the arms and then get down nice and low, travel to the other end of your mat, staying low and a little hop or spring at the end and we've got about another 20 seconds here just moving from one end of the mat to the other moving with your breath and emphasizing a contraction through your abdominals each time you breathe down. Last few seconds here and a rest coming up and traveling to the top edge of your mat and turn and face the top edge of your mat now. Separate your feet hip distance apart 
As you breathe in, send your arms over here, take a big stretch up, straighten the legs, push and activate the feet. And then as you exhale, forward fold over the legs. And you can either catch opposite elbows here or hook your peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine, come up halfway, perhaps hands to the shins there. And as you exhale, fold and settle your breath. Pause here. Smooth the rhythm of your breath down. And let your head dangle. Relaxing your jaw and your eyes. A little soft bend in your knees so you're not pulling on your low back spine. And then releasing your hands now. Hang in a forward fold. Easy and gentle in your body. Arms floppy. And then slowly rise to stand. Sending your arms out and up overhead. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Pause. Finding good posture through your body by rolling your shoulders back and down. Feeling for a neutral spine. Nice and active in the feet and feeling your kneecaps lifting your quad muscles without being too rigid. So I've got a couple of rounds of Surya Namaskar A with a few uh, core exercises included. We're going to move quite slow, not going to bounce. Take a nice deep breath in, send the arms up overhead, gaze up. And as you exhale, forward fold over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rising up halfway, extending through your spine, your chest. And as you exhale, plant the hands, step back to your plank pose. Pause here. Keep your gaze forward so the back of your neck is in line with the rest of your spine. And take some really slow mountain climbers. Right knee to your right elbow and step back. Left knee, left elbow and step back. And just stay with that sequence. Each time you breathe out, there's a firmness in your belly. And you're pushing down through the palms of your hands and knuckles of your fingers to keep space between the mat and your chest. Just one more each side now. And then a vinyasa. And feel free to drop the knees, your chest and your chin to the floor. Come all the way down. And we're going to seesaw here, just checking in, making sure your hands are by your ribs, elbows tucking in. Pushing down through your feet, just gently arc up through the spine. Bring the ribs forward. And as you breathe out, lower your head toward the floor and raise the legs any amount. And just one more like that. Legs down, chest up. Head down, legs up. Legs down, pushing down through your hands Abdominals engage, making your way back to downward facing dog. And just pedal out through your heels. Bring a little movement to your dog, perhaps swaying your hips, shaking out through your head. And then settle into stillness and take two more deep breaths in and out. Bringing your toes together at the back of the mat. Light bend in the knees, gaze forward. And at the end of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward to the top edge of your mat. Toes come together, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale and fold, empty your lungs. Rise to stand as you breathe in. Eyes up to the tip of the thumbs. Exhale, hands to the heart. Second round, we're going to do some downward dog push-ups. And they can be quite subtle or uh, a little deeper, depending on your upper body strength. Just do what you can. Stay with it. Nice deep breath in. Circle your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward over the legs. Moving with your breath. Ardha Uttanasana as you breathe in. Exhale, step back to plank pose. And then slowly lower it all the way down to the floor. Regular cobra here, Bhujangasana, as you breathe in, arching through your spine. As you breathe out, move back to downward facing dog. Feel your hips point nice and high toward the ceiling. 
Feel free to place a little bend in the knees if you're tight through the back of your legs. Activate all the base knuckles of your fingers, pushing the floor away, taking the heat out of your wrists. And then from here, you may not have done this before, this is quite new for me as well. Elbows out to the side, keep your ears in line with your arms, and then just take a push up through your upper body, lowering the crown of your head toward the mat, and then push back up to straight arms. And just do as many as you can here, until I cue you to uh, move on, that is. <clears throat> We've got more to do. <laughs> And just taking two more maybe here. These are strong, huh? And then coming back to your regular downward dog. Shake out your head and bring your toes together there at the back of the mat. We'll keep it rolling. Deep breath in, gazing forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward to the top edge of the mat. Hopefully you're feeling a little warmer now. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and forward fold. Rise to stand as you breathe in. Exhale, settle your hands to your heart. Next posture, coming into chair, bend the knees, reach your arms, and just as you did in your squat, weight bear in your heels here so your toes stay light and fluffy. Your buttocks move back behind you and low belly engages. Take a deep breath in here, arms framing your ears. And as you exhale, cactus your arms, open wide through the chest, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach the arms straight. And exhale, bend the elbows. One more, just like that, inhale. And exhale. Reach the arms, breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. A vinyasa here, halfway lift, breathe in. Step back through your vinyasa as you breathe out. You're lowering slow to chaturanga. Upper dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. So from here, from our downward dog, we're going to alternate between downward dog and bear pose. And bear pose is like a tabletop where you just simply hover your knees, firm the abs. So taking a deep breath in here. As you exhale, drop the knees to a hover right above the floor and then press back straight legs, downward dog. And we'll do that a few more times. And again, the knees can come quite close to the floor or you can hover them a little higher just depending on your upper body strength. Just keeping an integrity in your posture so your abdominals are engaged. And last one here. Downward dog, bring the toes together, gaze forward, and at the end of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward to the top edge of your mat. Deep breath in, rising up halfway, exhale and fold, let go, empty your lungs, rise to stand, breathe in. Hands to your heart as you breathe out. We've got another two rounds just like that. Chair pose as you breathe in, cactus the arms, breathe out. Reach the arms, elbows straight, breathe in, exhale and cactus. Firm belly here, inhale, reach. Exhale, wide open through the chest, shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhale, reach the arms, forward fold as you breathe out. Stay with your breath, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands, step back through a vinyasa. Now, if you need to take a little break, you can always just roll back to downward facing dog and pause, rest, do less at any time. From downward dog into bear, drop and hover the knees and then straighten the legs, hips point up. And we'll do that a few more times, hovering the knees. And as you come close to the floor, make sure your belly's nice and firm. Last one here. And downward facing dog. Step the toes together, take a deep breath in, gaze forward, and travel to the top edge of your mat. Toes come together, Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. If you've got a sigh, let it out. All the way up to stand, straight legs, activate the feet as you push down, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
Last round here, chair pose as you breathe in, Utkatasan, cactus the arms, drop the hips, breathe out. Twice more, inhale and exhale. Breath in, breath out. Reach the arms, breathe in, forward fold as you breathe out. Ardha Uttanasana, send your heart forward, fill up. Exhale of Vinyasa or Downward Facing Dog. Taking a back bend of your choice. And Ardha Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Dog to bear pose, hovering the knees when you're ready. Exhale, straightening the legs, breathing in. Take a few more rounds. Long and straight through your arms. Close up the air pockets underneath your hands. Keep pushing the floor away. Last one here. And pause. Pause and rest. You can flutter the lips. Let a big sigh out of your mouth. And then rest into stillness. Feel free to take the knees to the floor and rest in child's pose. We've got another five breaths here. Just emphasizing that soft contraction in the back of your throat, breathing an ujjayi breath. And if you've been in child's pose here, just making your way into downward facing dog. Spread all your fingers equally there. Bring your toes together and slowly raise your right leg up and back. Trying to keep a feeling of balance through the hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, core lunge in the air, rock forward, shoulders over the wrist, knee to nose. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, second core lunge in the air, just two here. Inhale, reach up and back and take it nice and slow here as you breathe out. Step forward to a high lunge. So you can bring your hands to your hips, just really slowly come up until you feel very steady in the feet. Right foot can toe heel out to the right side so you feel like your feet are about hip width apart. When you're ready, reach your arms alongside your ears and keep your arms nice and wide so you've got lots of space and room around your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, float the arms down and hover the back knee. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, lower and hover. And we've got about eight more here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Breath in, just moving with your breath. Breath out. Last five. Keep it moving. And reach the arms up, open out to warrior two, anchoring down through your back heel so you feel steady there, just here to transition. Keep the legs where they are, inhale, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, take your arms out wide to a T, straighten both legs. And from here, turn toward the long edge of your mat, turn your heels out, your toes in, and your hands to your hips. And try and draw your shoulder blades in your upper back toward the midline of your spine. Take a deep breath in, open up through the chest, gaze up. Firm the muscles in your legs as you forward fold between your wide legs. And you can come down halfway if that's more comfortable for you. you can come down a little bit further, running the hands down the legs, allowing your spine to cascade down. Chance to smooth the cadence of your breath, resting your heart, and encouraging blood flow to your upper body, to your brain. I 
and then be still a couple of breaths here before we start to move again. And on your next breath in, rise up halfway, fingertips can be under the shoulders, nice flat back. As you exhale, hands to the hips and come all the way up to stand. And taking the heels in, toes out in this wide stance now for temple pose. Bend the knees nice and deeply. And here, try and stay upright through your spine. And just like our squats, you're driving through your heels so your toes are light. Taking your arms out wide to a T. And then we're just going to circle the arms in our squat. So stay low in the hips, knees bent. Circle your arms backwards in some small micro circles. Reach out from fingertip to fingertip. And keep breathing a nice steady breath. Even if your breath is a little faster here, try and keep it balanced and even your focus steady. And then simply circle the arms back the other way. Keep reaching fingertip to fingertip so your arms feel engaged and the movement feels strong. And come back to centre, arms straight. And then reach the arms overhead, straighten the legs, take the heat out of the legs. Exhale, hands to the heart. You inhale, reach your arms straight up here and turn toward the top edge of the mat. Soft bend in the front knee, land the hands and step quietly back to downward facing dog. Take a rest here if you need to take a break or flow through a vinyasa rippling forward to a high push up, low push up, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra and downward facing dog. And second side coming up, step your toes together at the back of your mat. Raise your left leg up and back as you breathe in. Core lunge in the air as you breathe out. Try and hug and hollow the belly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, core lunge in the air. Last one here, down dog splits. Breathe in. Left foot forward as you breathe out to high lunge. So take your time to arrive. No rush. Try and get steady in the legs and perhaps a little soft bend in your back knee to help support your low back. Drawing the front of the pelvis up and reaching the arms up alongside your ears. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, lower and hover your back knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower and hover. Eight more. Just move with your breath. If you want to go a little slower, half time, that's okay. And here you're pushing down through the heel of your front foot. As you rise up, try and keep a steady focus. And keep breathing. Last one. As you feel yourself breathe out, turn out to warrior two, virabhadrasana two. Get steady in your feet, just making sure your front toes track forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, straighten both legs. Take your hands to your hips and turn toward the long edge of your mat. Heels out, your toes in. Legs nice and strong here without locking your knees back. Take your hands behind the back and interlace your fingers. As you breathe in, lift and open your chest. Breathing out slow to fall forward halfway or come down a little further, hinging from your hips. Arms can float away from your back in your comfortable range of motion. So rest here. Make sure it feels quite effortless. You can smooth the rhythm of your breath. Even pressure through the free feet from your heels to your toes. And two more smooth breaths in and out. And 
Releasing your hands, fingertips to the floor, come up halfway. And as you exhale, take your hands to your hips, coming up with a nice flat back, come all the way up, firm belly. And turning your heels in, your toes out for temple pose. Getting steady here. So you're trying to track your knees toward the middle toes here. Sink down nice and low. Keep your torso upright and take your arms out wide to the side for our circles. Power up the upper arms. Stretch from fingertip to fingertip and simply circle your arms. Nice little micro circles. Any direction. Sink down a little lower. Keep your belly nice and firm. Circle your arms back the other way. Good job, stay with it. And release. Send the arms up overhead, breathe in, straighten the legs, take the heat out of your legs. Exhale, hands to your heart. Push down through your feet, reach your arms overhead, breathe in. Turn toward the front edge of your mat, take your hands down to frame your foot. Step quietly back to downward facing dog couple of resting breaths here or take a flow if you're feeling like you'd like to keep moving and we'll all meet back up in downward facing dog and then a brief pause here your knees to the floor knees quite wide big toes to touch settle your buttocks down on your heels and rest your forehead to the man. Your arms can swim back alongside your body, toes toward your heels if that feels comfortable. Just letting go of the effort in your upper body and resting quietly. Take another five breaths. And then from here, just rise up a little way, lifting the buttocks. And we're going to come into dolphin pose. So taking your forearms down, shoulder width apart, and interlace all your fingers. Run the little fingers along the man. And then lifting your buttocks, perhaps bending the knees just a little and finding downward dog through your upper body and the back of your legs, resting on your forearms. And just to feel as light as you possibly can in this posture, push down with everything you've got in contact with the mount. So the undercarriage of your forearms and your toes here. Let your head drop between your arms. And then walk your feet back, even if you bend your knees a little, walk them back just a little. So you've got quite a long stride here, but not quite a plank pose. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, rock forward so your shoulders come over your uh, elbows there and you're going to take your right knee to tap your right elbow and then step back to dolphin pose. So hips nice and high, that downward dog shape. And then we'll stay with that sequence. Left knee now to your left elbow, rock forward and downward dog through your upper body. And then just stay with that. Keep pushing down through your forearms alternating right knee and then your left knee stay wide in the architecture of your upper back your shoulder blades draw away from one another just last two here each side and rest knees down buttocks to the heels and press your palms together here Walk your elbows forward and take your hands in prayer to the nape of your neck. Feeling a light stretch now through the undercarriage of your arms, through your triceps. Rest your head down, relax your jaw, steady your breath.
and then releasing your hands to the floor we're going to come down onto our right hip now our right forearm points to the long edge of the mat and you're going to bend both knees and aim to get your elbow in line with your knees so your body's almost in a straight line there feet behind you and this one is for your oblique muscles down the side waist part of your abdominal core making sure your right elbow is just a little forward of your shoulders so when you lift your hips up you've got a straight line shoulder down to your elbow so take a breath in with your hips down and a breath out to lift your right side hip up away from the mat and then lower lift and lower stay with that sequence if you want to add on you can split the knees nice and wide away from each other as you lift up or you can keep your knees touching last two and then hold it up hold it up press down with everything you've got in contact with the mat take the left arm straight up toward the ceiling nice deep breath in and as you exhale thread the left hand underneath your torso breathe in reach up exhale and thread inhale and an exhale last two breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out reach the left hand straight up fire up the right side and then gently settle down coming down onto your right hip from here you're going to slide your right knee up toward your right hand take your left knee to the sole of the right foot so you sit upright legs are in swastikasana just stretching out now left hand to your left ankle sweep the right arm up and overhead and find a lateral stretch through the right side of your waist you can reach over any amount there just whatever feels comfortable for you push the floor away with your right side buttocks and release coming down onto your left hip now just spin around left forearm down and both knees bent and then as you lift up just check in making sure that left elbow is underneath your shoulder and so lifting up through the left side waist squeeze the left side abdominals you can keep your hand on the right hip there take a deep breath in exhale lower inhale lift and arc and lower a few more here and if you'd like to add on you can split the knees nice and wide as you come up stay with your breath last one and then you're going to send your right arm straight up toward the ceiling breathe in exhale and thread underneath your torso inhale reach and thread there's a rest coming up stay with it last one reach the right arm up reach up and exhale settle the left hip down and just taking that uh, side stretch now left knee up to your left hand right foot to the sole of the left foot upright through the torso right hand to your right ankle left arm reaches up and over deep breath in and out you're almost there enjoy the rest and then from here just gently releasing spinning your feet around in front of you and you're going to take your feet hip distance apart there and we're coming into a tabletop setup and this particular sequence is for your triceps and your buttocks so we're going to start with our fingertips pointing toward our buttocks behind us a little bend in the elbows and lift and brighten your chest knees are bent both feet on the floor and then what we're going to do is raise the buttocks up and lift the right leg up so it just needs to be uh, off the floor here and you can point it in any direction you like so the first one's for your triceps so as you breathe out you're going to bend your elbows behind you and lower yourself to a hover inhale lift 
exhale lower and hover so just the elbows are bending here your buttocks are moving up and down and you've got your right leg lifting Try not to collapse through the chest so you keep your lungs available to breathe. Collarbones are wide. Last one. And lift up. Now you're going to keep your elbows straight and just drop your buttocks now to a hover and lift. So elbows stay straight. Push down through all the base knuckles of your fingers and you should start to feel this in your left buttocks. Light squeeze to the glutes as you come back up. And last two. And lower yourself all the way down. And now you want to just lean back and come down onto your forearms behind you. So wriggle yourself out so you're on the comfortable part of your buttocks here. And tuck your knees in nice and close toward your torso. So once you've done that, you might need to adjust. So take your time here to make sure you're comfortable in the low back, particularly at the base of your spine. And this one's a kick and twist. Another one for your abdominal core. So leaning back on your forearms, reach your legs away. And they can be quite high here if you're still working on your core strength. And then your knees come over to your right shoulder and then just lightly send the gaze to the left. Kick the legs away, breathe in. Exhale, opposite side. And just stay with that sequence. If you need to pause and reset through the buttocks to make it comfortable, do that. You're doing a great job. Hopefully you feel like you've done a little bit of a yoga workout. <laughs> Last one, each side. Nice to mix it up. Well, hopefully you're enjoying it. And then take your feet down to the floor. So second side now. Coming back up onto your hands, little bend in your elbows, your fingertips point toward the buttocks, both feet on the floor, and then raise your buttocks up and raise your left leg up. Now this one is first for your triceps, so we're bending our elbows behind us and lowering down to a hover and lifting up. And just stay with that sequence, so your elbows point straight back. But you keep brightening through the chest and bracing through the abs, particularly when you hit the top there. Abs engage, low belly draws back toward your spine. Last two. And then keeping your elbows straight now, just lower your buttocks and then lift up. So you're driving through your right heel and squeezing lightly through your right side glute muscles, your buttocks muscles nearly there and last two and rest buttocks down onto your forearms behind you and get comfortable try and find that spot where you were comfortable before tuck the knees in gather them in toward your chest and as you breathe in send the legs away breathe out knees to the right eyes to the left breathe in Knees to the left, eyes to the right. Stay with that sequence. Just got a few more. And then there's a nice big hip stretch coming up, which should feel sweet. And everything's going to slow down. This is the last little bit of effort. Last one each side. And back to center. Take your feet to the floor. Rest down on your upper back. Let your head rest down. And bring the knees in toward your chest. Take a little rock side to side. Good job. And just a very simple hip groin stretch here now. Taking your right foot to the floor, your left ankle to the top of your right knee. And be sure to flex your left toes there to protect your knee. Drawing your right knee back toward you. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your right knee. I'm not being forceful here. Try and let your head rest back. And your upper body relax. And sending a light stretch through the outer left hip. Now that you're quite warm. 
offering a chance to get a deeper stretch into the deeper hip muscles which are typically quite dense so a little bit of warmth in the hips and the legs helps to access a deeper stretch last breath here and switch over right ankle to the top of your left knee now and just gather your left knee in toward you externally rotating through the right hip and just gently softening releasing through your jaw so it unhinges deep breath in and out and release both feet to the floor here keep your head resting back and bring your right knee in toward your chest now and extend your left leg out straight along the mat so your left heel can rest on the mat try and flex your toes toward the ceiling and find length down the left side of your body and softening through the crease of your right hip and then a gentle twist reclined here right knee over to your left and you can step your right foot over to the outside of your left leg you can keep your left hand on your right knee there and your right arm extending out to the side at shoulder height palm face down or up wherever you feel most spacious across the chest and then breathe deeply in and out through the right side of your rib cage and twisting revolving a little deeper as you breathe out if you feel like you've got a little bit more space try and really relax into it here at the end of your practice and then just simply roll back onto your back bring both knees in toward your chest keep your left knee hugging in and send your right leg out straight so you want to try and keep that right leg active not soggy try and keep your upper body relaxed so you feel smooth and unwrinkled through your upper back reach away with your right heel and then make your way into your twist your left knee over to your right left arm can extend down right hand can sit on the top of your left knee and trying not to crank your way around just coming into a comfortable twist to release the spine and one more deep breath in and exhale release both knees in toward your chest little rock side to side we've got one last posture before shavasana nice forward fold so just slipping the hands behind the back of your knees take a few rolls through your spine to roll all the way up to sit or just turn to one side to make your way up and sending the legs out straight here your toes flex back of the legs pressing into the man sitting upright reach your arms alongside your ears and as you exhale forward fold drawing your navel back toward your spine let your hands land where they comfortably land bow your head in relax across your shoulders and then when you feel ready getting comfortable and resting back in Shavasana laying down on your back taking your heels to the corner edges of your mat just letting your feet fall out to the sides 
palms face up with your arms a little away from your body and then wriggle out until you feel very straight through the midline of your body and balanced across your shoulders and your hips. So we're at 45 minutes now. Well done if you've made it to this stage. I'd suggest taking a restful Shavasana. Try and take another five minutes here to completely relax in your body and let go. Tuning into your heart rate, slowing down your body, releasing. And just lay quietly, closing the eyes and settling in. And thanks for joining today. I hope you enjoyed this yoga conditioning class. Let me know, <laughs> either in a comment or uh, a thumbs up. All feedback's welcome. And uh, stay well, everyone. Rest now. Namaste.